For women, men are the top of the mountain. We are put on this earth to seek a man, be a wife, birth his child. The man is the mountaintop. For men, power and money is the mountaintop and women are just going to be here to prop you up and support you on that path. And a man did from a zero to 100 while a woman did from 100. That is why when you look at the dating space, women get more heartbroken, women get more disappointed because they put their high hopes on this guy. They started from 100, then the men now, you know, allow the the rest is to drop but women or but men they start from a zero they see you like okay 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 outro is that that's the conversation we are having today let me go ahead and roll this tip for you to watch the end then i'll come back and talk i was talking to my friend and i feel like i now know the difference between men dating and women day i think i have it though men date from zero and girls date from a hundred because she, when she meets a nigga, he is Prince Charming. He is everything. Off rip. Because he talks nice, he looks good, and on paper things seem alright. So she starts him here. And then he fucks up, fucks up, fucks up and well, we see where he lands. Whereas, me and a lot of niggas I know, I don't know you. All I know is that you're pretty. So you're at zero. Right? Maybe you're at 20, because now I know that you're pretty enough. And I just, I, you get me? Maybe you're at 30, because like, you have a good vibe. But honestly, I don't know you. So the more I get to know you, it keeps going up. That ends up being the talking stage, right? Because I'm building up the profile. But then that's the problem. I'm building up the profile. You already built the profile. And now you're mad at me because we're not on the same page. I've clocked it. Hello, my people, my beautiful people. How are you all doing today? It's your girl, Maria Davis, and I am back again with another interesting video. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Do you agree with what it says that women start dating from 100 and it gets to zero, but men, they start from a zero to 100. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Let's go ahead and hear what other people have to say about this topic. Then I'll come back and share my opinion at the end of all the stitches. He is Prince Charming. He is everything. Off rip. Be the problem is, is that men and women don't see each other as people. Everybody has been not a good guy and not a good girl. Every dude is capable of playing you. Every nice guy has been a bad guy to somebody and there's a bad guy who's been a good guy to somebody else. There's a guy who strung along his college girlfriend for years because he wasn't ready in his career emotionally, then meets you when he's in the right place and then gets married. And she finds a guy who's ready like she is and she's like, oh, I can't believe I wasted my time on this guy. But the guy she ended up with has wasted somebody else's time. You have friend zoned guys, you have broken hearts. There's no Prince Charming. So to this guy's point, start everybody at zero. Let people show you who they are and teach people how you want to be treated. That's it. That's all you could do. You can only control what you do. Men date from zero and girls date from 100. Trust me, and he could go from 100 to zero in a matter of seconds. Like he don't even got to say nothing. He just give her a little bit of it and he just go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Men date from zero, and girls date from a high. That makes so much sense. Watch the whole video. He has a valid point, but I would even take it a step further and say there is one more group, which starts you at 50, and I would deem that myself the conservative lover girl, lover boy, where we, I would start you at 100, but I know better. Like, I, I would, but I'm going to bring it down. And you start at 50. We, we give you the benefit of the doubt where there's a standard, but the expectation is low. Like, we like you, but the expectation is low. And you can either go above 50 or below 50, but you get the 50 starting point. You get the 50 starting point, but once you go below 50, it's a fast taper off. We're good. And I feel like I now know the difference between men dating and women dating. Yo, this is so funny. Forgive me, I'll just get from the gym, so I'm putting my clothes on. But this is so funny because of how backwards it is. So first of all, he does have a point. We do do that. We tend to do that. And men tend to do what he said. But this is why it's so backwards. Because the truth is, most men should date starting at 100 with a woman. And almost every woman should date starting at zero. Here's why. Naturally, if she's a woman, she has the ability to multiply. Naturally. Whatever you give her, she can make it better. 
it's, it's the essence of a woman. That's why we're the closest to God. But also naturally and what we've experienced as women, men tend to take. They're the takers. They are the receivers of love, of the essence of a woman, of what she multiplies. He benefits from. You think we want to be this way? We were taught that way. We were taught to date potential. And y'all had the freedom to pick and choose whatever you want to and discard it whenever you want to. If we left when stuff wasn't working, we would have been seen as a gold digger. We would have been seen as a woman who wasn't down for her man. We would have been seen as anything less than humane. And what's even sadder is if men really understood that a woman's gift to you is that she can multiply. I'm not even just talking about the womb. I'm talking about anything. If men really understood that, you wouldn't keep trying to go out and seek different multipliers because all females are not in tune with their womanhood. So all females will not multiply. Some of them will be just like you. They will be takers. Nevertheless, I've learned my lesson. There's nothing I've ever stepped into, whether it was a relationship, a friendship, a job, a business, a place, a town, a store, anything I've ever stepped into on a song, I've always made it better. So thanks for this reminder, because you're right. When dating, as a woman dated a man, he should start off at zero, maybe even negative one, respectfully. Men date from zero and girls date from a hundred. Okay, this is fascinating. In his video, he basically says women, when they meet a man, they start him at a hundred and every time he fucks up, he like gets knocked down. When a man meets a woman, she starts at zero and she has to prove herself to get built up. And it's a really interesting perspective and I just wanna add a layer of depth to it, which is this is what patriarchy has taught us. Under patriarchy, actually women ain't shit, right? We are devalued and dehumanized in the eyes of men anyways. And this dating analogy perfectly encapsulate this. When a man meets a woman, Woman, she's just a woman but when a woman meets a man he's everything and barbie taught us we need to flip this men date from zero and girls date from a hundred hey girl this is totally correct and it's all based on hormones let me spill some tea for you that you might not know so what happens when you're getting to know a guy and let's say you're chatting with him on an app or you're texting with him your oxytocin will increase and you will already feel bonded to this guy so when you get to first date you're already and let me know if you've been this girl because i know i've been this girl it, on the first date you are thinking about how y'all gonna look in the wedding pictures what your kids are gonna look like all of that whereas he is starting from zero he doesn't even really kind of like you yet, no shade. So there's a huge disconnect here. And so we get, sometimes we get butt hurt because we expect him to have the same level of commitment and expectation and feelings when that's not necessarily the case. So this is what I want you to do to temper your expectations. I don't want you to even like this guy until you get to a third date. Cause I know that 97% of the guys that you actually go out with will never get to a past the third date. Secondly, please know that he's not even thinking about exclusivity until between dates six and eight, physical dates six through eight. So I don't want you to even think about that until you get there, okay? Secondly, when we are having SEX and we're intimate, again, women are at 100. Once you get that big O, girl, you are going to be chemically bonded to this guy. That's why I always say it's safest to not get intimate until you're in an exclusive relationship. Whereas when a guy is intimate with you, his vasopressin will actually decrease and he will feel like disconnected and less bonded to you. So he's not even at a zero, he's at a negative when you all are intimate. So men and women are very different. And if you wanna learn how to not just get your guy, but like get him and understand men, definitely book a call with me because I, I can definitely help you with that. And let me know in the comments, have you experienced wanting to marry a guy on the first date? I hope this helps. Thank you so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly put down your thoughts in the comment section. Every opinion is accepted. If you put them down respectfully, yeah, just like the video, you know, show some love. Anyways, do you agree with men that men start dating from a zero to one hundred, while women date from one hundred to zero? 
or they just like hype the man or they feel already like this one is 100 is the prince charming i'm gonna get married to him is everything they already see him at the top but then when a man wants to be with a woman he sees her from the scratch like okay but it kept it keeps building whatever he wants to have her we keep building but women already like they already see the future already with this man how true is that as the last guy said he said have you ever dreamt of marrying a guy the first day you met him like just like mm, i can't wait I, I, you can't you start seeing yourself in wedding dresses anyways this is how our society has made us to believe that we have to be up there a man has to be up there for us before we can be with them or how will i put it so when you that's why we always like i feel like the boy said it's true that's why women always put men up there like oh yeah be there be there because you have to be there and things just have to change because at the end of the day when you put them up there and they start showing who they are to you it, it keeps dropping it keeps dropping to the point that you don't have any feelings for them anymore but then let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section i'd like to hear your thoughts about this particular topic in the comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video